Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my absolute favorite 4th of July dessert. So this recipe is from my cousin Barb, and I have mentioned her here before on my channel. I consider her the queen of entertaining. She hosts our family reunion every summer and makes the most incredible food. So I'm gonna link to a couple of her recipes that I've shared before on my channel down in my description box below. But today I'm sharing this incredible fluffy coconut dessert. She sent me the recipe and it was just called ice cream dessert, which I was like, that's totally underwhelming. That undersells the absolutely fantastic flavor behind this dessert. And there's a secret ingredient inside that I had no idea. Well, now you kind of know because of the title, there's melted ice cream in the filling. You are going to love this. Now, of course, you can make this recipe any time of year, but I always associate it with the 4th of July because that's when we have our family reunion every year here in Pittsburgh. So it has a buttery cracker crust and this creamy coconut pudding filling, and then you frost it with Cool Whip and top it with some toasted coconut. And it is absolutely amazing. So I cannot wait to share this recipe with you today. I'm starting with my favorite part of this dessert, the buttery cracker crust. I took one and a half sticks of unsalted butter and melted them in the microwave. And I took two sleeves of crackers, which was about 60 of these Ritz crackers, and put them into a Ziploc bag, zipped it up, and crushed them up with a rolling pin into pretty fine crumbs. Then I poured the crumbs into a large mixing bowl and added the melted butter and then stirred this all together. I used my hands to press the mixture into the bottom of a 13 by nine inch glass baking dish. And then I popped this into the freezer for a few minutes so that it would set up. For the creamy filling, I used a container of French vanilla ice cream that I had allowed to soften on my counter for several minutes. I even mushed it up a little bit with a rubber spatula and then let it sit a little bit longer just so it was nice and soft and easy to work with. Then I added in three packages of coconut cream pudding along with one cup of milk. I used my electric hand mixer to whisk this all together, and I mixed it for about two minutes until it was thick and creamy and everything was nicely incorporated. And you'll see those little specks in there. Those are actually tiny pieces of coconut in the pudding, which makes this really, really yummy. So then I poured the filling over top of my chilled crust and spread it out evenly. And then I put all of this into the refrigerator again to set up. It's just so much easier to frost this with Cool Whip when everything's a little bit firmer underneath. So while the dessert chilled, I took some shredded coconut flakes and put them into a little aluminum pan and popped them under the broiler until they got nice and toasty. Now do not take your eyes off of these because they can burn very quickly and you might have to pull them out a couple times and toss them around just so that they toast evenly, but this is a really nice topping to put on your dessert. So now that the pudding layer has thickened up, I'm going to spread an entire container of Cool Whip all over the top. Now I prefer Cool Whip because it's more stable if you have any leftovers. Fresh whipped cream tastes so incredible, but if you have leftovers, it tends to kind of break down and get watery. So I just went with the classic Cool Whip topping for this. And then I sprinkled my toasted coconut all over the top. 
Now ideally you would refrigerate this again so that everything can kind of marry together and set up so it was nice and firm and it makes it a little bit easier to cut into. But we did not have that kind of patience the night that I made this so we dug right in. And yes, it fell apart a little bit but it still tasted so, so good. And then the next day I took a little taste for you on camera. Mm. Oh yeah, it's amazing. I love the Ritz cracker crust. It's so unique. It's buttery and a little bit salty. And then that coconut filling, super creamy and rich and has a nice vanilla flavor to it. And then Cool Whip is such a classic summertime dessert topping, nice and fluffy with that little bit of toasted coconut on top for some texture. It's amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Ann's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my coconut dessert. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.